Hello everybody, guess who it is? It's me, and today I'm going to rant to you about something. So basically I'm going to rant to you today about iTunes. iTunes hates me with a burning passion. Holy cow. Ugh. Literally every time I try and use iTunes, something goes wrong. Every single time. So last year, after having had several birthdays and Christmases and whatever, I had accumulated several iTunes gift cards, and so I decided that I was going to just redeem them all on iTunes, like, basically on the same day, so I'd have, like, a ton of money in my account that I could just spend over the course of time. Perfectly fine idea, right? Right. Well, I redeem all my gift cards and end up having about $100 in the account. And a couple days later, I get an email from Apple that says, Hey, we just saw that you made some purchases. Make sure they're yours. A. So I go check my email, open up the receipt, and everything that has been bought is in Chinese. So right away I'm like, oh no. Um, I then quickly go on iTunes and see that all of the money that I have just put into my account from all the gift cards I have um, accumulated is gone. All $100 is gone. And I'm like, okay, that's not good. I definitely didn't buy this. So I decided that I would give Apple a call and see if they could help me. Hello, Apple. Yesterday my account was hacked and all of the money that is in my account has now been spent. I did not make these purchases. Can I get the money back? And Apple said, Oh yeah, of course, we can totally get the money back because since the purchases were not yours, we'll be able to redeem your money and you can have it all back. <sighs> um, well the Apple representative went to type buttons on the computer and get me my money back, I sat there just on hold for like an hour maybe. Finally, she picks back up. Hi, yeah, so I was able to give you all of your money back, but since your account was hacked, um, we're gonna have to disable it and shut it down for security reasons. You can re-enable your account, but I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. So if you wanna make an appointment so I can call you tomorrow, then we can re-enable your account. So after that, I made an appointment with the lady on the other end, and she said she would call me tomorrow so that we could re-enable my account. Which is just the beginning of the story. The next day they call me back. And the lady says, Hi, yeah, so, um, what did you need again? Oh, you said you disabled my account for security reasons. Can you re-enable it, please? Oh, yeah, so, in order to re-enable your account, we're gonna have to... I'm gonna have to get you to answer the security questions that you set up for your account so we can verify that it's actually you. Great, I say. That sounds great. I will totally answer the security questions. However, there is one problem with that. My iTunes account was set up when I was in third grade because that is when I got my first iPod Nano. I'm pretty sure I didn't have to set up the security questions when I was a third grader. I don't even know if they had security questions for the account when I set it up. And I don't even know if I set up the account. It was probably my parents that set up the account. I have no idea. I have no freaking clue what the answers to the security questions are. I have no idea. So, she gets back on the phone and she says, okay, here are the questions and I want you to answer them. And I give her the answers that I think are right. And she says that none of those answers were right. So, and I politely tell her that, that that account was set up when I was really young and that I may not have answered the security questions, but it might have been my parents. However, my mom was at home at this time. So I said, can I call you back tomorrow when I have the answers and then I will give you the answers to the security questions and we can finish this whole thing. Next day comes, I get what I think are the answers to the security questions. However, nobody really knows, because like I said, I'm pretty sure we didn't have to answer security questions when I set the account up, because that was like the beginning of Apple. I'm pretty sure they weren't very tight on security, but I'm not really sure. Called them back, and it's a new person this time. So I have to explain everything that has happened. So they pull up my information, I give them what I think are the answers to the security questions this time, and yet again, they are not. Is there any other way that we can verify that the account is mine without having to answer the security questions? Oh yeah, you can give us the credit card number that is associated with the account and 
then we can verify that it's you and re-enable your account. So I go get the credit card associated with the account, I tell them the number, and I had to do it several times before they actually got the number right. This is the credit card associated with the account, so we know it's you, so we're going to be able to re-enable your account. Um, I'm just gonna send an email uh, to your to the rescue email you have set up with this account. It'll send an email so that you can verify that the account is yours and change the password. Great! We can change the password and we can get my account back. This is awesome! Tell them that I'm gonna sit there with my computer and wait until I get the email so that both of us know that the email has been sent and that I can fix my account. So I wait and I wait and I wait. It 10 minutes goes by, still haven't gotten an email. Um, yeah, I still haven't gotten the verification email. Um, what now? Okay, well I'm gonna go look up and see what the rescue email is for this account and then we can see why it's not going through. He pulls up the thing that says this is what your rescue email is and whatever, and then reads me the emails that have been listed as my rescue email. One of them is my sister's email, the other one is an email that I have no idea whose email it is. Never heard the email address in my life. But neither of them are my email. Great. 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 Hi. Yeah, um, neither of those are my email. Um, what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna have to go back into your account and, uh, change your rescue email and once we do that we'll be able to send you the verification email to your actual email. That takes a nice 20 minutes to half an hour before he's able to fix that and send me the email. But finally, finally we can start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and I get the email. I get the email! And I change the password, I get my account back open, all my money's there, and I'm just like, yes, finally over, I don't have to deal with this anymore, and I'm done. And that whole long process is over. And two days later, I get an email from Apple that says, here's the receipt for some of the purchases that you just purchased. Please verify that they're yours. I didn't make those purchases. I go back into account, Guess what? All of my money has gone, and my account has been hacked again! AGAIN! What? Twice in the same week! After the whole process repeats again, I am able to get the money back. Uh, I made my password something ridiculously hard, and uh, it hasn't been hacked since. Knock on all of the wood, holy cow. Yeah. And that is just one of my battles with iTunes! Yay! That is all I have for you today. If you liked this kind of video where I just kind of ranted at you and told you about some of my struggles with life, you can leave a comment below and um, I'm sure I can dig up some more struggles because I struggle a lot with life. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next Sunday! Bye! Beanie, 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 beanie.